In this video, I want to show you how to set up a ducking scenario uh, here in your lab. And by ducking, what I mean is it's a technique used for one instrument or, or one sound to reduce the volume of another sound. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is have the kick drum reduce the initial attack of the bass when the kick drum sounds to allow the kick drum to punch through the mix. So let me show you how to set that up. First thing we want to do is add a compressor to the bass track. Factory presets, effects, amplifier. We'll find the compressor with sidechain here. We want to turn up the sidechain or turn the selector on the sidechain to the right, which is the external signal. Another thing we want to do is go here, and I did this with right-clicking, right-clicking on a compressor, and add an extra input to it here. And you can see our little tab popped up on our FM bass rack. And that is the audio input too for the compressor, which is the sidechain input. Now I'm going to drag some drums over. This coming over from U Clips. So now we have our Mu drum. And I want to add what if I can't do it from there. Okay. I want to add some outputs to my Mu drum, just the same way we did with a compressor. I'll right click on it, auxiliary ins and outs. In this case, we'll be adding outputs instead of inputs. Increase that to three. You can see we now have additional outputs on Mu drum. The reason I added extra outputs here to Mu Drum is because I want to isolate the kick drum. I don't want the entire drum kit to compress my bass signal. I only want to use the kick drum. So I'm going to isolate it, bring it over here to rack 4. Now I want to set the output of rack 4 to output 2. And I want to drag that output to over to the compressor input for the side chain. I'm going to mute the drums, play the sequence. This inside chain knob here allows us to hear the signal coming into the side chain. In this case, we can confirm it's our kick drum. So I'll let that listen to both of them a little bit here. Now I'm going to make some uh, extreme settings just so that we can hear it at work. Now you can hear that kick drum really squashing the bass, really grabbing into it. Reduce the release time a little bit. Make the attack time zero so that the attack happens instantaneously. Reduces the volume of the bass for seven milliseconds while the kick drum punches through, maybe 10. Now we can lighten up on our threshold. Lighten up on our compression ratio. Without. Now with the ducking. Turn 
that back up to extreme so you can hear it. That's width. So now that we've got that working, we have an issue with our drums. Because we sent the kick drum out to output 2 over to the compressor, and of course we don't want to hear our kick drum through our bass channel, we need to get our kick drum back into the mix of our drum kit. So we'll do that here. by simply sending a send over to output 1, which is where everything else in our Mu drum kit is going out of. This now becomes the volume of the kick drum within the drum kit mix itself. The rack volume is merely the signal sent over to the compressor, which you can't hear anyway. So that will leave where it is. This is now our, our balance or our mix for our kick drum within the kit. And we can hear that we've got our kick drum back. And that's how you would set up sidechain ducking uh, here in Mew Lab.